Hi guys, welcome back to the acting channel with your girl Liz, aka Pretty Progress 23. Today's video is all about shaving my face and no, the hair does not come back thicker. I'm gonna run through how to do it for acne prone skin and the benefits of shaving your face with like a facial eyebrow razor. So this is the one that I got right now. There are many, many types that look very similar to this. You can get it from eBay, Amazon, your local Korean store. I got this one from Laguna Skin. It's an Australian brand. And yeah, it's really safe to use. Whenever you're not using it, you can just close it and then it looks like this. People use this for the eyebrows, but they can also use it for their face. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. And as I do it, I'm gonna tell you the benefits as well. The first thing is I like to do this on dry skin. Right after I cleanse my face, pat dry my skin, I go in with the shaver. Now you only do this probably once a week. You don't wanna exfoliate more. If your face feels tight and you wanna prep it with some water or like a spray, check out the vitamin C from Banish. You can also use this. we go so you guys know that vitamin c has amazing benefits in repairing the skin but that's if you want to only i like to do it dry but i'll just show you that anyway both options are viable so when you want to shave your face right you obviously have to have a mirror i have a mirror in front of me and you go in small slight strokes in a downward motion just like this and you can really see all the peach fuzz building up and no it does not hurt Tip number one, getting rid of that peach fuzz makes your skin feel so good. So guys, can you see that? I'll just pick it up with my razor. So this is what it looks like. It's pretty much an easy way to get rid of peach fuzz. So instead of like waxing, for instance, every time I wax like where my brows are, I always break out and this doesn't make me break out because it is an exfoliating tool, which leads me to benefit number two. When you exfoliate your skin, you're getting rid of those dead skin cells. So you're preventing the clogging of pores and that means you won't get a lot of acne breakouts. Now you don't want to use this over partial pimples. These are not partial pimples. These are pretty much hyperpigmentated marks. So you can go over that. It also fades your hyperpigmentation. So the more you exfoliate, the better it is that your skin renews itself. And so your hyperpigmentation isn't as prominent as before. So I'm gonna go in. I like to do my sideburns as well. And no, they do not come back thicker once again. So very small, slow motion. This is my peach fuzz. I don't know if you guys wanna see that. <laughs> and then I also do my cheeks. So just like this. You can also stretch out your mouth like this, just so it's easier for you. My skin feels absolutely amazing. I like to do my chin area as well. You can also see the dead skin cells and a little bit of the sebaceous filaments. Benefit number three is actually amazing, smoother makeup application. So whenever you have like patchy skin that's dry, flaky, a lot of like pores, peach fuzz, your makeup looks a little bit textured on your skin, but once you shave your face, oh wow, your face feels super smooth after cleansing it. And then when you apply makeup, it also looks a lot more flawless than it would if you didn't shave. So yeah, I absolutely love this method. So that's pretty much it. Like, it's a really quick process. I don't have a lot of dead skin cells because I do exfoliate regularly and I do this once a week. So that's why I don't have a lot. But when I first did it, there was so much dead skin cells and you can really see it. So this is like a at home derma planning kind of method. Now, if you have shaky hands and you're unsure of yourself, try not to do this. But I love this method and it really helps with my cystic acne, which is which leads me to benefit number four, and that helps repair um, any breakouts. And I find that it works amazingly. So that's definitely something you can check out. This is post edits. I totally forgot um, to talk about the aftercare of shaving your face. So after you do that, you can cleanse once again with a very, very gentle like balm cleanser. So you're not stripping your skin from its natural oils, 
or you can use just a cotton pad to wipe away the peach fuzz, the excess dirt with a tonic, with like anything that's hydrating. And then you can go in with your skincare. I like to go in with a hyaluronic acid and then a vitamin C cream. You can also use a treatment and then your, like your hyaluronic acid and then your vitamin C cream. Those steps in that order works as well. Okay, and that's it for today's video. It's a short one, but I hope it helps. If you've ever shaved your face, let me know down in the comments below. There are a lot of myths saying that your hair does grow out quicker and like coarse up, but I've had no issues. And most of my friends who I told to do it have been getting amazing results with their skin as well. So definitely check it out. Big kisses. Bye guys.